This is a 99 Haas SL20 with a problem where when it's cold, the turret won't home to the correct position. I'll show you that alarm here. So I'll do zero return, A, zero single axis. It'll miss its home spot and continue down and home out in the wrong spot. I already changed the cable because I had one included when I bought the machine. And then I talked to a tech and he suggested that it might be the electronics in the control are bad. I tried putting a heater on it and it didn't seem to help anything. So I went ahead and took this plate off. The first thing you want to do, remove the way cover bolts. There's one hiding down here that you definitely don't want to forget and don't go prying. It comes off easy. So remove all those. There's also a plate, this plate right here that you can access from the back. You'll just want to get that under the weight cover so that you don't yank on any of these tubes and cables. This roller contact home switch is the same switch that's on all of the other axes that it needs to see that switch contact and then come off. Mine is super sticky when it's cold when I get under 50 degrees. You can pull up on this switch and it should easily come back, but this one is, it just feels super sticky and it doesn't roll back. So I just went around to the back to show you this plate. This plate just needs to get off of these two screw holes just so you can move the way cover around. I wanted to show the roller switch for the X axis. It's a little dark. The roller switch for the X axis. This is the same exact switch that's in there. I don't know if the part number is exactly the same, but the concept is the same. You can see how this switch is just coming right back. So there's no problems with this one. The problem is a super sticky switch up there. It wasn't the cable. I tried replacing this cable. I tried warming up the encoder and the motor. No help at all. It is my case. It's definitely a sticky home switch. So we'll turn the machine back on and do a power restart and do it again. So instead of power up restart, we'll do individual. Um, so we could just do A axis, zero return, A, zero single axis. And it just skips right over. So we definitely don't want to ruin this gasket. I don't know if they're available. They may be, but I don't want to destroy mine, so I'm not going to take anything further. I'm just going to unscrew these two bolts and try to clean this plunger on here and see how much that improves the process. I'm going to go ahead and film this the roller not coming back and see if we can get a better look at that. You see that, how it's jumping down? It's not coming off of the switch. It's just slowly plunging back down. Right here. So there's two screws right there on this one. It's a, it's a real pain to access the front screws, so I just removed the two right there. Now we have access to this guy, and you can see this thing does not even come out. It's all gummed up. So it, it eventually retracts, but as is, it's just real sticky on there. So if you want to replace the whole thing, you have to get under this gasket to be able to pull the cable, and it, the cable terminates right here. It just goes straight into the the main cable, plugs in, real short guy. But otherwise, if you could just clean this up, let it move easier, and it should solve the problem. Here's some part numbers, probably a part number. I'll go ahead and pull these two screws off and see if there's anything else. So here's the switch completely removed from the bracket. There wasn't much else. So 
clean this guy up or replace it, it should fix the problem. All right, now we're cleaned and lubricated. Retracts quickly now. There's no resistance that I can feel. So we'll put it back together and see how it goes. Just a suggestion or comment that you might try before you could take everything off. There's a little bit of visual access here. Not much visual access on the side there, but potentially you could get a shot of lubricant with a straw to hit that switch and then exercise it by homing out the axis. And that might free it up as a quick solution, but you still may want to take it off and get a real cleaning. All right, I got the switch back on and let's see if this fixes it. Is there a return A? Is there a single axis? There it is, problem solved. Right back to home. Let's do it again. No problems. All right, so we got everything buttoned back up and now our issue is solved. Comes back home every time. So just to recap, to, to get inside and not waste your time doing something you don't need to do, you do not have to remove the scra scrapers here. You can leave all these alone on the side. You need to remove these ones on this surface. There's one here on the side. There's a another one hiding here. I have a missing screw here, so there's probably one there. And there's probably also one down there. I feel a hole here, but I don't have a screw in it. You might, probably will. Then you'll want to remove two, four, six more. And then this plate, you could stick a screwdriver in there and pop it off. There's a gasket, hopefully you don't damage it. And then there's also the one in the back. So this is the weight cover here. This guy is attached to it, so you'll want to remove that to just slide it down and tuck it underneath so that the weight cover will move back and forth. So as I was saying before that there's some access where this counterbalance spring is. You can see the cam right there. Let's see. So there's the cam here. You might be able to get a shot of lubricant on the switch up inside of there and maybe even get a screwdriver or a long tool to exercise it a little bit so that you can get the machine working without having to take the whole thing apart or at least test and see or look visually if that is your issue before going and tearing into it. Well, that's all there is to this guy. If this helped you out, let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.